Welcome chefs, so today we're gonna to have a lovely Cornish hake dish with some rich red wine lentils, sauteed wild mushrooms and pancetta, some beautiful fondant potatoes and some lovage croutons. So for the fish stock, we're gonna start off by peeling and dicing 160 grams of carrot, 120 grams of onion, 60 grams of celery and 150 grams of leek. Add to a stock pot along with a garlic clove and 550 grams of fish bones. Finally, add 15 grams of parsley stalk, five grams of thyme, eight white peppercorns, two bay leaves, and two slices of lemon, and then top up with five liters of water. Bring the stock to a boil, and then reduce to a simmer for about 20 to 22 minutes. We're gonna skim any impurities off the surface of the stock every five minutes. Once the 22 minutes is up, we are then gonna strain the stock. For the lentils, we're going to begin by peeling and finely dicing 60 grams of leek, 100 grams of carrot, 60 grams of shallot, 30 grams of celery, 10 grams of garlic, and 6 grams of fresh thyme. Place into a saucepan and we're going to sweat down gently for about 10 minutes. We're going to wash off 250 grams of peel lentils and then add them to the saucepan and start to sweat down. Now onto the fondant potatoes. We're going to start by peeling and cutting four nice potatoes to roughly one and a half to two inches high and clean the edges and decorate to your choosing. Place the potatoes into a deep roasting tray and season with a garlic clove, salt and pepper, four sprigs of thyme and 125 grams of butter. Into the roasting tray, we're going to add 400 mils of strained fish stock into the fondant potatoes until they're immersed just a little bit over half their height. Place into an oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 30 to 40 minutes, but this is dependent on your size of potato. So now the lentils have been nicely sweating down with the meripah vegetables, we're gonna add 300 mils of red wine to the lentils and reduce that by half. Once that's reduced by half, we're gonna add just over a liter of fish stock Again, bringing to the boil and reducing by half. Now onto the fish sauce. We're gonna start off with 50 grams of carrot, 50 grams of celery, 50 grams of shallot, and a garlic clove, finely chopped. Add into a pan with oil, two sprigs of thyme, and we're gonna sweat down for about 10 minutes. We're gonna add 200 mils of red wine and then reduce that by half, adding in 450 mils of fish stock. Bring to the boil, turn to a simmer and reduce then down by half. So now onto the Lovage croutons. For this, we're gonna take three whole eggs, 25 grams of Lovage leaf, 30 grams of spinach, 10 grams of parsley, and place that into a bar blender. We're gonna blitz until a nice smooth consistency and place into a deep bowl. We're gonna add 45 grams of plain flour and then whisk until a nice batter consistency, adding a little bit more flour if you need to. Pour the mixture now into a Vogue cream whipper and then charge. Add the mixture into a microwavable cup up to about halfway and then place into a microwave on max power for about a minute, dependent on your microwavable power. Once the mix has risen to like a sponge consistency and it will fill the cup, remove the cup from the microwave, leave to cool for five minutes and then scoop out the mixture and then break into chunks. We're going to place the Lovage croutons into a dehydrator for a minimum of two hours until they become completely dry and a nice crunchy consistency. Next we're going to take 80 grams of the pancetta and place in a frying pan and fry for about four to five minutes till they're nicely caramelised. Then we're going to add two grams of chopped thyme, a tablespoon of butter and 150 grams of wild mushrooms. Once the wild mushrooms are nicely cooked and caramelised with the pancetta, we're going to take off the stove and add five grams of chopped parsley and seasoning. Now back to the fish sauce. So the fish sauce is now reduced by half and the flavour has become really intense. Um, so we need, now we need to strain and then place back into the pan onto the heat. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of creme fraiche and mix until it becomes emulsified. Now most of the components are done, it's now time to cook the Cornish hake into a frying pan with hot oil, skin side down, and we're gonna cook for two to three minutes. Season with salt and pepper, 
Then we're going to add a tablespoon of butter and a slice of lemon. Once the butter starts to foam and, and bubble, we're going to flip over the Cornish hake so it's now skin side up for about another two minutes. Now we're going to finish the hake in an oven between three to five minutes until the fish becomes nice and flaky and ready to serve. So there we have it, chefs. A lovely Cornish hake dish with rich red wine and wild mushroom lentils, fondant potatoes and lovage croutons.